Hi, my name is Phil and this is the first in a series of videos on advanced trading technology in Australia. So if you're an experienced online trader in the Australian equities market, then these videos will maybe give you a bit of an insight as to where execution technology is headed in the future and how you can benefit from it. So come with me this week as we check out a few new features in the WebIRIS platform that could improve your trading. Let's go check it out. Okay, let's go and log into WebIRIS and we can have a look at a couple of new features. Now, two main areas we're going to be looking at today are the desktop, desktop layout, and contingent orders. There's some really powerful new enhancements to contingent orders which have been released recently. Okay, so as far as the desktop layout goes, this will be pretty familiar to most WebIRIS users. This is the frames layout. Now, if we go into configure display, we can see there's a bunch of different frames modes that um, they can use, and most people would know about those. There's a few new ones though, no frames and MDI. We're going to try no frames first. Now, no frames is very different in that the windows are not within the web browser. So if we minimize the web browser, we can see this new toolbar up here. And as we open new windows, they are participating in the Windows desktop just like other applications. So if I brought Microsoft Excel, as I click on the other windows, they come to the foreground. So this is really good if you have a mix of WebRS and other Windows applications on your desktop at the same time. Now let's have a look at the MDI mode. MDI mode is quite different again. MDI mode does operate within the web browser. Now MDI stands for Multiple Document Interface and was the standard for Windows applications up until the most recent versions of Microsoft Office and a lot of people are really, really comfortable with it. Now the windows can be placed anywhere you like. So if I create a couple of windows here, I'll set up a, set up a watch list. I can put them anywhere I like, even in an overlapping, uh, overlapping context if I want to be able to, for example, uh, automatically lay them out. I can put them in a tile format. Uh, I can cascade them um, either vertically or, or horizontally. Now down the bottom here we've got Excel style tabs where we can make multiple uh, multiple workspaces. What we'll do is go and create a create another one. Now if I'm going to create a market workspace which is going to have say the um, so I've got the, the 100 I'm going to have some uh, market activity and a market map so that'll give me an, an overview of what the the markets doing uh, in total I could then create another workspace to investigate a particular stock in which case I could have you know, market depth, bring up a chart, look at uh, the trade analysis for the day. And if I uh, set this up so I can see everything properly, I can now switch between these different views quite, quite easily. So if I'm looking at the overall market, I can go to that, investigating a, um, a particular stock, I can, I can move to here. And um, that's a really, um, a really handy way to have WebRS set up in a number of different ways that you can, you can quickly switch between. Okay, so let's look at some of the more advanced features of contingent orders that have been released. Now, if we're going to place a buy order for the stock CXC, you can see here that I've configured two tabs for the order entry screen. One is the simple configuration with the most basic of information and then contingent, which has a whole lot of extra info. Now, as you can see, the order entry screen is getting pretty huge, so IRIS have given us the ability to configure what we do and don't have on our, um, on our order entry screens. Now, we're going to go in here and we're going to strip back the, the simple tab a bit. We're going to take away uh, the quote information, the contingent order information, make it nice and simple. And on the contingent tab, uh, we basically want everything turned on. So now I've got a choice between placing a really simple order and placing a lot of extra information, which we'll go through now. So say we're wanting to buy a uh, thousand shares uh, at a uh, dollar seventy-five. Now, if we wanted this order to be a contingent order, we would tick the uh, tick the trigger. 
and uh, that's how contingent orders work today in WebIRIS. We're going to be looking at the if done contingent orders. Now, when we switch these on, we can set a stop loss price of uh, $1.60 and a take profits of $2.50. Now, this will automatically then sell us out if the price was to drop to $1.60 or rally to $2.50, keeping in mind that the limit price is in place at those levels. So it's potentially possible in those scenarios that we wouldn't be executed. Now, if we want to get into some more detail, we can hit the advanced. Now, these two if done contingent orders are connected in that they are OCO orders or one cancels other orders. That means that one will cancel the other if one is triggered. Now, if we go into the advanced section for this particular leg, we can modify the order type to be, um, say, end of day, and we could change the price type, uh, market to limit or, or best, depending on, uh, depending on our requirements. We've also got the ability to email an alert out. Now I'll um, my details in there and say I want to be alerted basically on everything. And hit next. Now we are editing the second leg of the if done contingent orders. As you can see, this is the one for taking profits. And we're able to once again go in and say we just want the orders to be end of day and we want to be emailed. And, uh, and that's it. And now we can go off and place this order in the market. As you can see, the order is there. Now, I actually don't want this order to be executed, so I'm going to go on and delete it. Now, we can also go in and manually create OCO orders without having an original order to attach it to. If we go into create contingent order, we can create them manually, and this is useful if you already have a stock position that you want to protect with stop loss and take profits. And that works in the in the same way. Now to create the one cancels other order, we need to need to tick this, which will then take us once we hit the next button to the second leg of the contingent order. Well, thanks for joining us, and remember to check out the next video on integrating Excel with WebIRIS to get real-time prices onto your spreadsheets. We're going to look at a few ways that that can be used to create financial models, analysis of arbitrage opportunities, etc. Now, if you've got any comments or questions, feel free to post a comment on the video or send us an email.